Hey guys, we are looking at four different sequences and we want to decide, determine if they are arithmetic or geometric, okay? So first of all, the reason these are called sequences and not just a list of numbers is they are related somehow. There's something happening, some sort of pattern in which they are related and that's why they're sequences. So let's go ahead and look at this first one. Look at it for a minute and see if you can tell the pattern. What is happening over and over again? Well, if I look at it a minute, I can probably figure out that we are adding five each time. Two plus five is seven, seven plus five is 12, 12 plus five is 17. And this dot, dot, dot signifies it keeps going. I could keep adding five to make that sequence bigger and bigger. So great, we figured that out. But how do I know if it's arithmetic or geometric? Well, an arithmetic sequence means we are adding or subtracting the same number over and over again. So on this one, we were adding five. So this sequence is arithmetic. Now you can probably guess what geometric means then. Geometric means we are multiplying or dividing by the same number over and over and over again. Or oftentimes with sequences, instead of saying divide, we'll say multiplying by a fraction, but it's really the same thing. So that's what a geometric sequence is. Let's go ahead and look at this next one. Look at it for a minute and see if we can figure out what is happening. Well, when I just look at the first two numbers, right, I could think, okay, we are multiplying by a negative three. But if you looked at that and you didn't look at the following numbers, you could also think, oh, we are subtracting 28, right? 7 minus 28 would give me negative 21. So how do we know which one it is? Well, we keep looking, right? Negative 21 minus 28 is definitely not 63, so I can rule that guy out. So then if I multiply by negative 3, that gives me a positive 63 multiply by a negative three, and that gives me negative 189. So I was multiplying by negative three each time, and again, I could keep going. So since it's multiplying, this is a geometric sequence. Just as a side note, we probably could have been able to tell that without even figuring out that it was multiplying by three. And the reason is because it, mul sorry, <clears throat> it switches from positive to negative. Positive, negative, positive, negative which is a pretty sure sign that we are dealing with a geometric sequence. All right, let's go ahead and look at this guy. This is another one where I could say, oh, I'm subtracting 50, right? But 50 minus 50 is not 25. So I'm not subtracting 50 each time. What I am doing is dividing by two. Or another way you could think of that is multiplying by one half. Either way, it's you get the same thing. So 100 divided by two is 50, 50 divided by two is 25, and 25 divided by two is 12 and a half, and again, it could keep going. So since we were dividing, this one is also geometric. Okay, let's look, take a look at our last one. To get from 22 to 14, I'm thinking we are going to subtract eight, but let's make sure that pattern continues. 14 minus eight is six, so eight, and six minus eight is negative two, so I'm feeling pretty confident that we are subtracting eight each time, which would make this sequence arithmetic. All right, if you're asking the question, why do I care? <laughs> you're not alone. But this is going to be important. This means you are probably going to be doing recursive and explicit formula soon. And I know I'm a weird math lady, but they are kind of fun. So if you need some help with those, I will link a playlist for you in the corner. But I hope this helped. Thanks.